Okay, y'all, so here's the tea. So here's what happened, right? Oh, let me get comfortable. Oh, here's what happened. Here's what happened. I'm at school. I meet up with my friend every every day before we go to class, before I go to class, right? And what did happen? Hold on. So here's what happened. I go sit, she comes with Simi, we both have breakfast, we're talking. I say, because I just got my hair done, okay, and um, so I'm like, you're not going to say anything about my hair? I just got my hair done, I got French, French braids, French curls, and she's like, well, well, I was tired, if I had nothing nice to say, I'm not going to say it at all. Oh, word? So, I'm just looking at her crazy. Like, I, I start cussing like a sailor because what's the negativity for? Why is she being a negative Nelly? A negative Sally? A negative Nelly? Like, what's your problem? Like, is there something going on at home that I don't know about? You feel me? So, I'm just like, why can't you just be a good effing friend? Okay? Point blank, period. That's how I feel. And so, she's just like... Oh, well, I'm not being me. I'm not being me. I'm not being me. I'm just trying to help you out. You still say them. Nah, 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 nah. And so, I'm looking at her like this girl, is, this girl is a narcissist. This girl is a psychopath. The lack of empathy that you have, the lack of self-awareness that you have of how that affects other people's emotions is insane. I know I'm not perfect, but I like to treat people how I like to be treated. I'll, I'm very sensitive. I'm a very emotional person. I'm very in tune and in touch with my feelings. I'm constantly feeling a million different ones every second of the day. So, a lot of times when I feel like if I see someone being sad, like I'll feel their sadness for them. Like I'll cry with them. I'll comfort them. Like I'll, I'll be like, it's okay. It's going to get better. Because I know if I was crying, that's how... I would want to be treated. That's how what, what I would want somebody to say to me. So she's like, oh, and I'm like, why can't you just be supportive? I said something about being supportive. I'm like, why can't you just be a supportive friend? And she was just saying like, oh, well, I like your friend's curls. I like your curls. And her lame excuse, her dorky, nerdy excuse is, oh, well, I didn't know that you got your hair done. Like, yes, you did. You just didn't want to say nothing because you a hater. Uh, you're just not a good friend. Out of all the things you know, out of geometry and biology and chemistry, you don't know how to be a good friend. Like, you, like, bro, when I tell you, she's the most insensitive, uncompassionate, like, rude, just, like, selfish human being. I mean, like, she actually might have, like, a mental issue like she might actually be a narcissist because I swear to God the only feelings that she cares about is herself and like through our friend I don't even know if I want to call this a friendship for real for real I don't even know if because she was like oh you got a mustache and I was like oh you noticed that but she didn't notice my hair you could point out that, right? You could talk about that, right? You notice the bad, right? You can see the bad and everything, right? Because you a negative Nancy, bro. And it's like, I'm a nice, I'm a very empathetic person. I can see other people's perceptives. I can see other people's views. I can understand their emotions. I can feel their emotions. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, how do I keep attracting these Un insensitive like selfish people and she keeps trying to look at it through a logical standpoint and I'm like you dumb dumb you dumb bird you chipmunk like you 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 being you trying to be so technical and practical you're um throwing my feelings underneath the bus because you want to be right like Dr. Phil said do you want to be right or do you want to be happy because it's you rather be right and factual and have a conversation about emotions. Like, what are you scared of? 
What's the big deal? Like, why is it so hard for you to be nice? Why is it so hard for you to be friendly? Why is it so hard for you to think about other people? I don't get that. I never understood that. I never got that. Like, and I don't want to, like, like, bro, like, I'm, like, low-key irritated. I'm low-key irritated. Because she can't understand nobody's point of thinking, nobody's other situations other than her own. It's giving lack of empathy. It's giving a psychopath. Like, now I'm here telling her, I'm literally telling her, yo, I'm, lately I've been feeling unmotivated. Lately I've been so tired. Lately I haven't been feeling like doing anything, but I want to do something. Like, you know, like that's a really confusing feeling. Like, when you want to do something, but you don't feel like doing it. And I don't know why I, ha- I have that, but I just, it's there. Like, I want to do a lot. I want to achieve a lot. I want to accomplish a lot. But it's like, I don't have the initiative, the ambition, the hustle, the drive. And I'm telling her this. I'm sharing my feelings with her. And she keeps either talking about other things, trying to change the subject, or joking about it. Like, it's like she's a scare. Like, she's running away from feelings. Like, she doesn't know how to feel. Like, it's weird, bro. You're a weirdo. You're lame. Like, if you're, like, if you don't know how to be a good friend, just say that. If your mother didn't teach you how to be a good person, if she didn't raise you with morals and principles and values, just say that. If you're insecure, just say that. If you have low self-esteem, just say that. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to shame you. That's stuff you like to do because you're a bad person. You're a bad human being. You're a horrible human being. I don't do stuff like that. If you're you're coming to me and you're hurt and you're damaged and you're broken, I want to be there for you. I want to support you. You don't know how to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to crack jokes and talk about people and talk about yourself. That's all you want to do. And it's annoying and it's irritating. It's very irritating when you're a nice person and you don't get that same behavior back. You don't get the kindness that you put out back. It's very frustrating and it's very irritating. And I don't want to cuss you out. I don't want to have to pop off on you. I don't want to have to blast you. I really don't. Because when I blast people, I like to publicly humiliate them. I, I, I think bad people deserve bad things. And I think good people deserve good things. And you're being a bad person. So I feel the need to humble you. I feel the need to deflate your ego. Your fragile ego, I feel the need to break it in front of everybody. Because you're walking around caring only about yourself and it's not right it's not cool i don't know how people do that you so smart you so this you so fabulous you so great you so perfect you don't think nothing is wrong with you and you over here being a like a wet sandwich for what if there's something going on at home let me know i i want to support you I, if you want to cry, honey, there's nothing wrong with crying. That, that's like scientifically they're proving like crying is actually good for you. It's actually really healthy for you. So if you want to do that, like I'll cry with you. Like there's no problem. There's no shame. There's no guilt. If you want to fit, I go, you, like, you know. <sighs> like I'm just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't know how I keep getting these people who keep like, and she's very passive aggressive. She likes to indirectly insult me. Like we was at the lunch table and she talking about, oh, you need a makeover. And I'm like, oh, that that sounds fun. Like you, you know, you want to hang out? She's like, no, I want to give you a makeover because you need it. And I'm just like, girl, you don't hear me telling you need a, you need a salad. You need a diet plan. You need a liposuction. You don't hear me telling you that. Do you? You don't hear me talking about that double chin, that round face. You don't hear me talking about that. So what's the problem? Like, girl, like, and it's like I'm trying to be patient with y'all. Like, I'm trying to really give you a chance. 
then I'm not gonna fight. I already know you, you, it, bro. When I tell you these hoes ain't on my level when it comes to these hands, you don't want these hands, bro. You don't want me to get to that point where I feel like I need to humble you physically. You don't want to do that. That's a game you don't want to play. That's really not what you want to do. I'm telling you, you don't want it. You really don't want it. You feel me? So I'm trying to be patient with the girl. I'm try- it seems like being, I can't be nice to you. You like you, it seems like you, 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 you ain't used to being nice. You ain't used to being pampered and you know what I'm saying? You ain't used to people caring about how you feel. So you think you don't care about how nobody else feels. Like that's really jacked up. That's really messed up on God. And I'm just like, and I'm just like, I don't want to pop you, but like, I feel like I got to be your mother for a second. I feel like I got to school you for a second. I feel like I got to teach you a little lesson, give you a little lecture, give you a little speech. Maybe you'll understand. But you know what? You can't help somebody that know everything. You can't help somebody that don't want help. So I'm thinking I'm just going to probably have to stop talking to her. If she don't want to sit down and have a conversation about feelings and emotions and the problem and why you can't express your feelings... If you don't, if you can't, if you, maybe you're not ready. Maybe you're still in denial. May, I don't know what's going on in your head, sis. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. But if you're not willing to have a conversation about it, or at least give me an apology. At least say sorry. Say, hey, I apologize. I, I wasn't there for you. I didn't support you like how I should have. I, I, I'm going to make it right. I'm going to do better. If you're not willing to do that, you don't need to be in my life. You don't need to, I don't even want to call you a friend because friends don't do stuff like that. Friends don't have to tear each other down. Friends don't have to point out the negative in every situation. They don't do that. So I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I think... I don't know if it's low self-esteem. I don't know if it's a a, a big ego. I don't know. Maybe her... Maybe she got daddy issues. I don't know. I don't know. 